What's up guys, my name is Adonis Crash Boom and you guys are watching Adonis Live and today we're going to be talking about my top 8 picks of movies that you should be watching during this actual pandemic or lockdown of some sort. These movies are only going to be revolving around time travel. I did not put Looper in this or Back to the Future in this. Time loops and Inception. No! What? Why? Comment any movie down below and comment your thoughts on each of the movies that I've said. Well speaking of Inception, if you like movies like Tenet and Inception, both created by Christopher Nolan starring Leonardo DiCaprio, but here is our first pick of today. The movie is called Interstellar. Been late, Coop. And we had a flat. Now this movie is amazing. It's created by Christopher Nolan as well. Now a team of explorers travel through a wormhole in space to see if they can ensure humanity survival. For everybody who's watching this right now, if you ever seen the movie, comment down below what are your thoughts on it. From my perspective, just to give you a brief understanding of what this movie's about, basically, the world is not what it used to be. There are no crops growing, the world is dying, and the next generation, after the generation that is present inside of the movie, will starve or dehydrate themselves because they don't have lack of resources. The movie starts off a bit slow, but when you get through actually listening and watching the whole storyline and the character development, you will realize that some of the details in the, mo in the beginning of the movie are more important than you think. I'm coming back. I can't say any much, just I suggest you watch it with your family, watch it by yourself, but guarantee this is a movie that will definitely satisfy you. I truly do love that movie, Interstellar. I probably watched it about four or five times. <sighs> Speaking of time, speaking of movies that have to do with the beginning being the end and the end being the getting, let's continue with this Christopher Nolan pack. We got another movie that we call Momentum. Now, I don't know if you ever heard of this movie, but this is a crazy movie. It basically starts off with an insurance agency, sorry, an insurance investigator who actually has some type of amnesia in a way. Amnesia. No, 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 it's different from that. That he can only remember split parts of his life. The last thing he remembers is his wife being murdered. Since my injury, I can't make new memories. And that's the only thing that he remembers from his past up until that point. So he finally figures out ways to actually remember specific things, whether it's tattooing it on himself, leaving little notes and little clues. Yo, this movie is a mind all right, what it comes down to is the end is the beginning and the beginning is the end. And if you want to play a little puzzle in your head while watching a movie, I guarantee you Momentum is one of those movies where you'll be like, wow. Because soon the he's find out, the people that he thought were taking care of him or supporting him. Lenny! Well, actually, the crooks all along. I can't say too much. The movie's Momentum, comment it down below. If you want the full list of these movies, please check out my description and follow me on Instagram if you have Instagram. The next movie that you will be watching is, we're gonna take it back to the 2004s. Now, I know you like Ashton Kutcher. We're gonna take it back to the butterfly effect. Ladies and gentlemen, this movie is so epic. I am not, I, I keep taking my glasses off because you know, you gotta put the, you gotta put the movie glasses on. Listen, Evan gets severe headaches when he was younger, right? He gets so many severe headaches that he'll black out. And he wrote in his book all the time what was going on in his life. By the time he got older, oh, things got real. Like he literally found his books and started reading his books. And when he would read his actual books, it would snap him back to that time. You could wake up a lot more messed up than you are now when he wrote that situation and he can actually change the course of his life by changing decisions that he made when he was younger. Oh my God, that movie is so epic, it's so amazing. Come on guys, you have to have seen The Butterfly Effect. It's one of the most iconic, greatest movies that has to do with time travel, time manipulation, and the storyline is just amazing. They do have number two and number three, but I consider number one to be the actual very best. But since we're talking about time loops in a way, let's get over to our number four video of the day. Triangle. Woo! Now this is an interesting movie. I'm not gonna front. It, it, it almost lost me through watching this actual movie. I was sitting there and it comes down to a group of friends who are going on a yacht party. They're having fun, having fun, having fun. A mysterious storm shows up. Boom! They find, they find themselves next to a big ship. They had to abandon their ship, their yacht party, to jump onto this big ship and then that's where things take a turn for the worst. A mysterious killer goes around trying to kill them. Let's just say, things are not always what they seem. I guarantee you this movie will be wow, whoa. At the end of it, you will truly feel a little bit lost but intrigued on how the director tried to attempt to get you to feel like it's all one person's fault. I can't say too much. I'm just giving you a little bit of mystery on that, on that movie itself. But hey, you comment down below if you actually want to see more about that movie and if you actually enjoy these actual type of videos. But 
Let's get back to the main focus, all right? Another video movie that you should be watching, I think is actually sick and amazing, is Source Code. Oh my God. Now, this movie right here, I don't even need the glasses for this. Source Code, I, you have to have seen this movie. All right, it's, it's about an army pilot who wakes up in a, in a, in a, in a tent. Welcome back, Captain Stevens. And the only person, there's only one person speaking to him through a microphone. And every time they press a button, he jumps in time into a train. Comes to find out, oh, I, I, you know, I can't say too much details about it, but every time, and when he dies in the train, he goes back to this little metal box, and he wakes up, and they tell him to find the bomber in the train. Who bombed the train? I don't know who bombed the train. Then try again. And every time they press the button, he jumps back to that time in another person's body in the train, and he has to solve the puzzle. The movie is amazing. The storyline is great. The detail, the amazing about how you can maneuver through time. Ooh, look, I'm just saying. Look, I don't know who Sean is, and I don't know who you are. That's a movie that you definitely should be watching, and you definitely should actually watch it with a girlfriend, watch it with a family. You will truly love it. I can't explain, I can't say too much, because these time travel movies, if I say too much, you'll understand what's going on. So I can't say too much, all right? Just check it out. The movie's name is Source Code. It's amazing. Source Code, okay? It's amazing. Go check it out. Oh, man, that's all I have to say. But if you want some more deep, dark, incredible types of movies, psh, psh, you need to watch Predestination. This movie right here is one of the most, oh, if you're looking for one of those time travel movies that make you go, oh, God, no, what, why? This is the movie for you. If you want to feel creeped out and like, disgusted and weirded in the most cringiest dark web type of way? <laughs> let me just let you know, this is actually the movie for you. Don't watch this with your parents, you'll feel very creeped out. And I don't know, you can watch it with your significant other if you want to, but I think this is one of those movies that you should watch by yourself, all right? <laughs> just to keep it real. Oh, another movie, <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm just keeping it real, all right? Another movie that I think that you should actually watch, well, which will be the actual final movie for today, is In the Tall Glass. Sorry, In the Tall Grass. Brother and sister driving past to go to another place, and they hear a boy screaming in a crop field Did you hear that? for help. They enter that crop field looking for the boy and figure out it's very difficult for them to get out of the crop field. This field doesn't make any sense. This movie. Name one thing in here that does. It's not the best of movies. It's not the greatest of movies I've seen out of all of them. But after you finish watching this full list of movies itself, I think that you should actually watch this movie and say it could have been a bit better. It could have been a bit more amazing. I can't say too much. Let's just say the grass has its way of confusing time and manipulating people in that in that field. I suggest you definitely do watch this movie. Go check it out. Comment down below any other movies that you have seen that you think I should watch. These are movies that will actually trip up your mind and make you genuinely say, wow. You understand? Literally. So if you're looking for something actually interesting to watch and you're looking for something that's actually unique and different, this list is for you. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me any other movies or any other genres that you'd like to see because I've seen them all, I guarantee you. Comment any movie down below and comment your thoughts on each of the movies that I've said. My name's Adonis Crash Boom. You guys are watching Adonis Live and please don't forget to make it a movie. I'll see you guys later. Ah.